voluntary stuttering. When working on this rule, it is suggested that you might be willing to try experimenting with stuttering, stuttering voluntarily. Stutterers can usually get some relief from fear and tension by doing this. If you deliberately stutter, you are directly attacking the tension which is aggravating your problem by voluntarily doing that which you dread. Voluntary stuttering, sometimes called fake or serial stuttering, should take the form of easy simple repetitions or short prolongations on the first sound or syllable of a word or the word itself. It should only be done on non-feared words in a calm and relaxed manner. Do not imitate your own pattern of stuttering, but stutter smoothly and easily in a different way. Later you will be asked to study and learn about your own pattern, but it is better to stutter in an easy and relaxed way when doing it purposely. Whatever type of easy, whatever type of easy stuttering you decide to, do, whatever type of easy stuttering you decide to use, you must be sure to keep it entirely voluntary. It is not advisable to let it get out of control and become involuntary. Experiment by talking slow and deliberately with easy repetitions or prolongations that differ from your usual pattern. It will give you a sense of self-mastery when you can control the uncontrollable. Start alone b b by reading aloud and calmly making easy repetitions or prolongations then later work it into conversations with others make up assignments for yourself in w which you are required to stutter to stutter voluntarily for instance g Go into a bookstore and ask the clerk the cost of some different items, faking blocks on some words. Make the blocks easy but obvious. Maintain good eye contact while stuttering. And be sure to purposely and be sure to purposely stutter only on words that you do not fear. V. Voluntary stuttering can help eliminate some of your shame and embarrassment. The more you can follow through and practice doing this, the easier it will become. Aim toward the goal of being willing to stutter without becoming emotionally involved work on it for several reasons it is one of it is one way of admitting that you are a stutterer it is also a way of finding out how people react to stuttering and w will help you realize that they are usually kind and tolerant and it will g give you the sense and it will g give you the satisfaction of knowing that you have the courage to, to tackle your handicap in an obvious way. It is also helpful if you inject a little humor or even are willing to joke uh, about your stuttering. Self-therapy for the stutterer.